There we go. Now let me scrape around the edges. And uh, we're just going to, and I have to do this gently because if you push too hard, you'll actually deform this and you don't want to do that. You just want to get the, uh, the old glue off. That's all you need right there. Just do that all the way around. A little bit more, taking that glue off the back side of this foil. Remember, don't press too hard because you'll deform the foil. All right, I got it. Uh, got some flux on here. Now I'm just going to take some flux and run it around the edges right here. Oh, sorry about that. I, I had to put this uh, technical uh, piece of like labs uh, glass right there uh, to hold <laughs> to hold it down. So once I get this done, then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, put some solder on here and I'll wick it off if it's uh, too much. So let me get that real quick. So now I got some solder here. So uh, there we go. Come on. There we go. And that's pretty much all you need. All right, let me get this all on here and then I'll show it to you. All right, after you get uh, get it all tinned up, go ahead and get some uh, so or some uh, alcohol on there and clean it all up real good. All right, after you get it cleaned up, uh, tape one side down, put a little bit of flux on your uh, braid, and uh, take your braid and remove all the excess solder on it so that it's pretty much flush all the way across. All right, when you get that done, then uh, get your uh, alcohol and clean it off. After you clean it off, turn it around, put the tape on this side, and do the other side. All right, now doing the other side. And you want all the excess solder off of it so it lays flat on the board. And when you actually go to solder this on the board around the edges that we cleaned off, uh, the solder will wick up underneath it and should hold it down along with the glue that we're going to put on it. Alright, get her cleaned up. Use some tech wipes. Get it all cleaned up there. Remove any uh, bumps or high areas that the wicking or any burnt area that the wicking and alcohol didn't uh, get off of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just just clean it off is, uh, reasonably well so that you don't uh, uh, deform the the copper. Anything that doesn't come off, that's fine. Just leave it on there. You just the idea is to make it uh, smooth and remove any contaminants that might prevent the uh, copper from sticking to the board. Okay, here we are. Again, we're not looking for perfection. We're just looking to get it cleaned up good. That's all. And if you put your blade at a shallow angle and scoop away from it, it should help. So just remove the, the burnt material. I mean, like I said, it doesn't got to be perfect. Just, just do your best to get it cleaned up. The idea is to make sure that the glue will hold the, uh, the copper down on the board and uh, won't react with any flux or solder or anything left over on the bottom. Again, this is the bottom. This is the side that goes towards the fiberglass. And it's a good idea to go away from the center towards the edge uh, so you don't accidentally, you know, like cut it. She's all cleaned up and ready to go on the board. So all I have to do now is mix up some glue and press it down and let it sit overnight and then solder around the edges. <laughs> 